Okay. Oh, I you know I'm having problems with this camera. I'm in my bedroom. A room where the ghosts live. This is where the ghosts live. They live in my bedroom. You want to know why? Because it's so quiet. I'm in a corner on the floor, <sighs> trying to sort out my life. I'm coming across cute little trinkets. Mm -hmm. And if anyone knows anything about junk jewelry, can be uh, cool. And they can be collector items. see something. I think I'm going to do this for fun. <laughs> what do you think? When I'm in the kitchen, I bought some turkey today. I went to that clinic, the one that's going to be on renovations until the end of May, and it's confirmed this eye is basically blind. My left eye is basically blind. Right? So, anyway, could you see me cooking with this? <clears throat> I think I'm going to try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before I go, I'll make some funky videos. Yeah. Dress up. Cool, eh? Hey? Yeah. So I'm just poking around in here, being that I never get in here. I'm trying to decide what to do with all my clothes that I never get to wear. And the ones that I wear all the time, half the time I can't find them. Because they just get buried. Alright. Because I, you know, wash the kids' clothes. And, and so, I'm wondering if I should just dress up for a cooking video. And then decide if I'm going to sell it or keep it. Do you see that hanging up there? Uh, that's from the ceiling, right? I got a little bit going that way. And do you see how long that is? Those are my long ass jackets. Nice jackets. Nice. But of course, I never get to wear them, right? Something dropped here. <clears throat> oh, God forbid if it dropped into my coffee. <laughs> I'll be drinking jewelry yet. <coughs> I'm, I'm going to make jewelry. I have everything I need to make jewelry. I just never had the time, but I'm going to make time for it. Look at this. Uh, yeah, look at this. So nice. 
It's kind of hard to cook though when you're wearing stuff like this. I never get to go out. Like the good old days. Right, where am I? It's so pretty. What else is here? I was gonna leave it for my girls. I only got one left. I told her I've got a whole bunch of shiny stuff like this up in my closet. Way in the back I hid it. In jewelry boxes. More than one. From when I was young and didn't even have some of them yet. Right? We're talking like from my 20s and stuff. Even probably before that. 18, 19, 20. It's sitting up in the closet. It's been there for like Ever since I moved in, people, 11 years. I have to get up there and see what's in there. For whatever reason, I have a really nice rosemary. You see this? Where is it? Here it is. Look how nice. These are nice beads. Like, really nice. This is nice. This is well made. Really nice. This is nice too. Look at this. Huh. And this is just this little corner. <laughs> right? This is nice. I like stuff like this, people. <laughs> well, something else fell down. Here's another little. I don't know, it's a little chain. Where am I? There it is. For the wrist. Mm -hmm. I think there was something else. I don't know where it went. Taking through crap. I'm pulling out some stuff. I found myself some silverware. My son. He's been sneaking off with my silverware. And I know this for a fact. Because he's thinking about moving out and he thinks he's going to take all the dishes, even though I paid for them, right? <laughs> that are downstairs, that is, right? So I guess, in his mind, he figures if he sneaks off with a few pieces of extra of silverware, because I've been ragging on Andre, where's my silverware? You know, you're you throwing my silverware out in the garbage when you empty your food out into the garbage if you're not eating it off your plate. Oh, no, man, I, or maybe the spoons are in the playroom. Anyway, last time I took note, he only had a few spoons and a few forks, right? And some knives. Because just basically by himself, right? I was down there like two or three days ago. And like I've been crabbing on about how I don't have any silverware for the last two months, three months. I've, I've been noticing my silverware disappearing, right? <sighs> anyway, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And uh, I go looking for a knife and open the drawer and I'm telling you people, he had all my silverware. And then when he got home and the conversation came up and I asked him about it, he said that I had given him that silverware. And I said, oh, okay. But it's not the same silverware that I gave him. I gave him the silverware with the plastic on the on the um you know on the handles he didn't want that he just wanted normal silverware <laughs> so he's been sneaking off with my silverware so anyway being that i'm in here and i'm running low on silverware look what i found a whole box of 
silverware. Miscellaneous Mum's Work, 2001-2002, Income Statement, Register of Companies, 2001. Anyway, this silverware is actual silverware. It's the real deal. The reason why it's in my room, because kids in general tend to be irresponsible. Right? Look at that spoon. It's beautiful. And because they're irresponsible in terms of they don't care where they leave the fork or the spoon or you know you go outside you find your silverware outside just like you find your cups and your bowls and stupid shit like that right so I didn't want to lose it I just put it in here these are nice so that's why they're here so they wouldn't get lost throughout the years as my kids were growing up, right? But I'm trying to pull them out. And maybe try and use them or something. I don't know. That's going out, and then I found this. I'm just trying to take some stuff out of here. You know, do something. If anyone knows what these are for, oh, I know, smashing down cabbage when you're wanting to ferment something. <laughs> Must be. Some kind of cooking utensils. This is probably, I don't know, it's very flat. And then, I don't know what it is. Nice stuff, man. What am I going to do with it? I don't know if Tisha would see the value in that. Young people these days, they don't care about stuff like this. If I would have my three girls, they'd fight over it. Right? Look how nice this is. It's just tarnished. This is beautiful. Like, really nice. I have no room in my kitchen for it. Look how tarnished it is. Just I'm sitting here. That's cool. I'll bring these out and we'll use it in the kitchen when I'm cooking people. Why not? Found a little bag of spoons. 
it's good to feed children with uh, silver cups and let them drink from silver cups and feed them with silver spoons because um, the silver is a natural anti antibacterial, you know, just the whole nine yards. Look, a whole bunch. I just have to maybe do that and let's get it out. I'm not getting a lot of work done, though. <laughs> All right. well, only so much you can do in a day. I bought two turkeys when I was out. Because I stopped in at Walmart. And they were like 247 or so a pound. And that was a good deal. So I bought two of them. One I'm going to cook because Andre wants. I said I was going to can them, but I'll can one for sure. And then the other one I'll cook and then maybe I'll can something with some of it cooked with like potatoes and carrots and just kind of have it like that with a nice broth so that you can open it up and just make like a stew, a little bit of a gravy. That'll work. We'll see. So anyway, oh yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just sitting here, this is going to be my bead box, right, I ordered some, some gold beads to get me motivated. from my bead loops while I can still see with the one eye. I feel like a one-eyed bandit now. Yeah. I just haven't quite figured out what kind of bandit I'm, I am yet. Definitely still a justice warrior, that's for sure. What other reason would I have, still have eyesight after all this time? So that's why I'm kind of in here. Cause I want to get on with it. But thing is, I just bring and I, I bring shit in here in bags, and little baskets, and I just pile them up, and I don't ever have time to sort them out. Look at this. this. Pencils. Uh, I don't know if these are art pencils or what. I sure do miss my girls, people. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, for my girls. I'm going to get back into, even if it's just a little bit. Just trying to organize shit. Get Andre. Andre can draw. But he's addicted to this little Nintendo machine. And, uh, oh, something else. Art pencils. Save some for Leah me. Right? Boy, it just doesn't end. 
I said, I had them over here. And then I moved them over here, and then I forgot about them. Now I'm thinking to find a way to use them. I don't know what's in here. It's all pencils. All nicely sharpened. Look how nice those are. <laughs> those are nice. Nice, nice, nice. <coughs> <coughs> Get a bin for that. A bucket or something. I'm just trying to reorient reorient myself. Like I said, I don't ever get in here. I haven't probably been in here for like well over a year, people. My bedroom light always stays dark. People walk by, they probably think, what the heck goes on in that room? Nothing. The light's never on. <laughs> right? And it's not. As if I have time, right? That's the hard part of my life, is I don't have a normal 60-year-old woman's life, right? I get up in the morning and I think about when I'm going to start doing dishes, and I could be there for two, three hours, depending on what's going on. Yeah. Now, it depends on how much I've been cooking and just what goes on, right? Because it's not just simply cook a meal. Just doing Amari stuff, you know, I go through a lot of silverware in between switching forks over and spoons over. I, you know, I, I have to use a, a new for, a new spoon for the, for the, um, coconut butter. Then I have to get another spoon to scoop out the honey. So that's two spoons, right? And then, you know, I take a fork and I have to mash it and then a knife and I have to cut it and, right? Just, or whatever. And it's the same thing with plates, you know, so one meal for Amari could be, you know, seven different freaking pieces of silverware and two plates plus. So, so now that I kind of looked at that here, let's, let's see what else is in this over here. And now I'm going to end this video. Because we're just doing this for fun. Oh, I can't remember which child of mine made this, but one of my children made this for me. The leg is in here, I think. It needs to be soldered back on. Should be, look, I just found some more spoons. Yeah, there's the leg. I don't know if that was Shimei or Marcane. I like these little spoons. I use them all the time, little spoons. Aw, oh, look how cute that is. It's a little butter knife. And you know, you could turn it into jewelry because look, it has a hole through it so you could if I wanted to, I could turn that into jewelry. What's this? I got the strangest stuff, people. I really do. Whatever it is, it's metal. This is metal. It's another bracelet. That's got a nail on it, too. Sticks to everything. Look. You see? That's nice. I like that. What else is in this can? I game I don't know all these little spoons. 
Are these things even worth anything? Can you see? You'd have to Google each and every one. They have little printing in the back. Look how tarnished they are. I wonder what they look like all shined up. Hey. Okay. Well, that should go with the silverware. Okay. We'll do that. Do you know where this problem comes from? My grandfather. Mm -hmm. My mom used to send me up to my grandfather when I was a kid. Put me on an airplane. I would just be like eight or eight years old, seven years old, or something, something like that. Even maybe younger. Who knows? A couple of times she did it. One time the plane couldn't land in Edmonton because it was so snowy, so they flew off to uh, Winnipeg. And I had to stay with the pilot. I was just a little girl. And then the next day they flew to, to Edmonton. And I spent like two weeks or three weeks with my grandfather. And he used to work in a... Mm, uh, um, like it was... It was like a sauna, right? Sauna for men? And they had sauna rooms. So they had big, like, just, it was old. And, uh, men would go in and have saunas. And I guess lots of them would leave their watches behind or something. Because my grandfather would pull out these cans, can after can, and he'd give them to me to play with. And it was like a lot of watch straps and those kind of things. <laughs> so, <laughs> it followed me, people. Yeah. I got a lot of cans in my house <laughs> because of my grandfather, okay? <laughs> What's in here? I can't see. Yeah, you have things like this. Just... Whatever, right? Oh, speaking speaking of beads, is that one? Let's see this? This brings me to the good old days. Yeah. See, everybody's using my clippers, and they're disappearing. I'm, I found two already in here. I found a little. Where is it? Oh, God. I can't find it. Anyway, it's this little red thing that zips up and has, you know, pedicure set. And it has a big pair of clippers, and now I've got a little pair. So. Put it. Like I said, I'm trying to organize, well, not organize, I'm trying to familiarize myself as to what's in here. Because I forgot, I don't ever get in here. I don't have a chance. I'm too busy being responsible. I don't have time to play dress up. But I think I might try and fit it in just for fun. Uh, give those young whippersnappers some competition with the boys. Uh -huh. You know what they say about us elderly women. <laughs> Can't keep a good gal down. <laughs> anyway, I'll just put that there because I need it. What else is in here? 
beautiful. Damn, my eyes are glowing funky on me right now. Let's see. Let's see if this helps. Not really. Let's see. Nope. I'm getting a different pair of glasses. Only temporary, though. Right. And then after I see the specialist, <coughs> then I'm going to uh, get like four different kinds. I don't care what it costs me, but I already asked him if I can do that. One for outside, one for computer, one for like sewing, that kind of stuff, and then reading, and then just walking around shit, right? I wonder what's in here. Elizabeth Arden. I guess it would make a good bookmark. I need those. Alright, what else would you use it for? I need that out. What else is in here? Speaking of watches. Don't ask me if it works because I don't know. It's nice though. Can you fix watches? I guess just take it to a watch shop. Somebody who can fix watches. Let's see. You go forward, backward, forward, backward, right? Probably been sitting in this can for 20 years. Well, the handle isn't moving. The second, second handle. I have a pocket watch. I wonder where that is. I don't know. So, it needs to go to the watch shop. Oh, here's another one. See? I told you. My grandfather father followed me. Uh-huh. He really did. He was the first embalmed person that I seen dead. Yeah. Like the first dead person that I seen that was embalmed. So then, maybe for something like this. I just need to gather them up as I find them and then just take them to a watch shop and see what the watchman can fix. Here's some tacky earrings. I suppose I could wear them on a day. Got pink ones too. A necklace with beads on it. It has a clasp. I don't know. No, I think this is for glasses. Right? You know how you put it on your glasses? 
think that's what that's for. If that's what that's for, maybe I could use that. And I wouldn't be so apt to lose my glasses because I'm always asking Andre to help me find my glasses. So how does that work? You just wear them like that? And then when you don't want them, you, how, like, how does that work? Or you, no, you go like this. Right? That's how you do it. Yeah, I think so. There. What do you think? Crazy shit, people. I was a costume maker, okay? <laughs> people like me like shit like this. It looks like gold rings or something. I don't know if it's real gold. Probably earrings that need to be fixed, but they're beautiful. I can't really see in the dark. Oh, I'm curious to see what's in this bag. That's a bunch of rings. I don't know what kind of rings. Let's see. Probably just junk jewelry. That's yeah, pretty flimsy. Just junk jewelry. Probably a toe ring. This might be nice. This might be gold. I'd have to look at it. Maybe. I like that. Where am I? That's nice. <coughs> A little fish. It's a ring. Oh my god. You could spend hours doing this shit. Just yeah, I'm gonna make some jewelry. I think so. I don't know what I'll do with it. necklace all wound up. I have to get to this computer. So before I do that, I just want to clear out some shit in here first. Or at least organize it and get, you know, re reacquaint myself to it because I don't even remember what's in here anymore. And as you can see, some of the things I'm finding is being quite useful. 
No, see, this just needs to be repaired. It's just a little bracelet, or necklace, just a little necklace. So I'll just put that back in there. What's that, Sumas? Where am I? This is Sumas Wrestler. How come I have a Sumas Wrestler keychain? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Sure, that's a Sumas. It's nice though. It's solid, really solid. Some kind of pen. Oh. Here's another bracelet. Oh, I can't put that on. It has a clasp. A very nice clasp on it. Look at that. That would fit me, but it would have to come off with the clasp. These are shells, people. It's a hair, hair piece. Oh, this this would have been beautiful in Shimei's hair. Tisha too, but she's picky. Right? No, Sierra would have loved it as well. Here's a choker. Just needs to be repaired. Everybody know who that is. That's Batman. <laughs> oh God. I don't know where to start. Just looking one more. Oh, I used to love these earrings. See, I'd like to, I'd like, I have to repair them, but these earrings, oh God. How old was I? I would have been in my 20s, people. See, that's, I like those. Those are so nice. I bought these when I was in my 20s, so these earrings are over 40 years old. Okay? Well, 40, they're 40 years old. We'll just say I got them when I was 20. And I'm 60. I just have to put a new back on them. But could you see me wearing this cooking Amari side dish? Or any kind of canning? Could you see me canning with this? <laughs> but you know what if I don't wear them under those conditions people see I'm trying to pull this off did you notice that because I'm not used to that right I took off my glasses and went to go put them down and I can't <laughs> oh god then I'm like I forgot where my glasses were and I'm and I'm like oh wait they're right there so I guess it takes a little while to get used to these things See, that's the thing about losing your eyesight. Your brain doesn't work as well as it could. Let's put it that way. But um, I think the only time you would ever see me really with something like this is if I just take it upon myself and just start doing my videos. If I get a chance to put these on, put them on. If I'm canning, I'm canning. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never see it. 
I'll never get to wear it, and it will mean nothing. See, something like this I would use for sewing. It, it, this is an applique. It's a beautiful little applique that goes with sewing. Here's another one. Not as nice as this one, though. And then, this is just a bunch of shit in here. Oh, here's something really nice. Oh my god. Yeah, I got my own bling. I'm going to start wearing my bling, people. Look at my bling. That's my bling. <laughs> hey? That's some nice ass bling. Look at that. Number five. Look at that. There's another pair of earrings. There's a penny. For all I know, it could be a collector's penny. I'd have to look at the year. Another favorite pair of my earrings. I haven't worn these in years. I used to love wearing these earrings. Yeah. Probably as old as those other earrings. I don't know where its mate is, though. These are nice earrings, people. Look at those earrings. I used to wear stuff like that all the time. I don't know where the other one is, though. See, I do better in the daylight. I can see better in the daylight. What's this? Oops. Where am I? It's a parrot. I don't know if this is miscellaneous earrings that are just... Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll have to look in the daylight. I can't really see in the dark. And for me, it's dark like this. Not that I get any daylight in this room, because I don't. But... We're just having fun right now. What's in here? Oh, boy. A lot of little pins. Little Christmas one. This one says wrestling. I guess in a situation like this. You see, that's what years of paperwork does. It takes you away from your life. And then your life just sits in a box. Or hangs on a hook. Mm -hmm. Just think if I could have sewed all these years. what my life would have been like.
I don't know what this is. This must, looks like some of this is silver. This looks like silver, from what I can tell. Like this is some old jewelry. You can just tell by the, these things. Those are old. Here's a real old one. What is this? Didn't we just go through this, people? With that thread? Look at that. Do you think I'd be able to unwind that? Do you know what the secret to unwinding that kind of stuff is? Patience. Some kind of coin. Probably nothing fancy. What is it? Can't tell. Same though. Probably some Klondike coin. Nice though. <laughs> it's not real. It's just fake. But it's heavy even though it splits. It's quite heavy, believe it or not. I think this is where, this is nice. This is really nice, people. I could wear that. I would wear that. Where am I? Look at that. That's an owl. That is so, so nice. Like I said, I got my bling. I already lost my bling. I don't know where it is now, but. It's in a different container. Look at that. That's nice. Could you see me cooking with that? Would I appear to be strange if I started wearing jewelry and that kind of stuff? Canning. Because if I don't wear it then, people, I'll never wear it. Okay. What are you wanting? I just came in to tell you. I'm I'm recording. Is it important? Is it important? No, I'm just gonna tell you I'm already still sleeping. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm almost done. I've been doing this for a while now. Yeah, I'm just pouring a bowl of cereal. Okay. Well, no, you just ate. Save it for tomorrow, okay? 
You're just drooling for the sugar. No. That's a hair clip. This isn't collector's hair clip, hair clip. They don't make them like they make things like from the good old days. It's still functional. This is nice. Like really nice. Look how nice that is. surprised <laughs> that's three so far people <laughs> all right mm -hmm. one two three <laughs> My hair is not thick enough for this. That's a biker's chain. This is nice. It has its clasp. I can wear that cooking. Do you know how expensive beads are like this? Very expensive. This is really nice. It's a little dragonfly or something. Yeah. It's a little clip. Very well made. Very well made. See, I, I, could, I could get with this, too. These are kind of cool. Only they have two different, two different backs. This one goes through the ear. This one clips on the ear. But for whatever reason, unless there's more in there and I just don't see them, they look the same. And they're nice. <laughs> I just have to change it, change the back on one. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Now you know. Well, I'm tired now. But then I had a, a long day. I'm just starting. Oh yeah, 
I need to wear these things when I'm cooking. So I gotta figure out. I made this box. I don't even know. I don't. Oh my god. Oh boy. Alrighty. See? That's some funky jewelry there, people. I got some fun, funky jewelry. Funk, funky jewelry. <laughs> when Uncle John was medically kidnapped, I, uh. Oh, that's more shit. What's in there? That's what I mean, you just don't know. Is it more. I don't know. Bangles and stuff. But you see, when the Uncle John was medically kidnapped, I was going to start making these before that happened. And these were old, old jewelry boxes that I had for 25 years. And, uh, I was in the sewing room, I was going to resalvage them because they were, you know, 25 years old, getting all busted up. They're right there. Probably have jewelry in them, too. See? No problem with books. Alright. Those are jackets. All the way down. This is suede. It's a real suede jacket, right to the ground. 